I'm running on the same platform I ran the last time. We have education, we have jobs, local control of government, and building our infrastructure. Those are the things we got to get back to. 1.8 billion has been taken out of the education system and we are suffering for it across the state. We have to get back to our basics. We have to get back to having education be a priority. We have to fund government. We want to live in a good area and a great state and it takes some taxes to do that. And if we think that we're going to be living in Michigan and paying nothing, we are all going to be in a lot of hurt. So that being able to fund education and provide a good quality for education for these kids is number one. We are not going to get people to relocate to Michigan if we're not going to educate the youth. You know, I traveled around in the district and all the school districts, they're taking their money out of their savings account to shore things up. And once that's gone, it's gone. I believe in public education and I, I believe if people want to have the choice of charter schools, that's their prerogative and they should pay for that. We have to have our own public education. One of the things to me that we so much. On the jobs in our area, it's crucial that we get to the number one point that we could bring this economy back into Michigan. Public Act 38 has tax pensions. We've got people in the room that are retired, that are paying on pensions, and that is sucking money out of our local economy, and it's going to get worse. The only way we're going to get Michigan back on top is to be able to attract people in our area, and I think that that's one of the immediate effects that we can have right away. I was in business, I had a party store in Calumet for 10 years, and I understand you want to have as many people come to your community and live. You want to have people that are going to be here with some resources to spend in your community. So to be able to take and tax people on pensions and to raise up the property tax and to take all that extra money out of the equation is not going to help and it's not going to work. It's not going to make our, our situation around here better. The other thing that I believe very strongly in is the things that built our community. We had the copper industry that was a part of my family that's a part of me four generations from Holton County, that's what built our area and helped build a lot of our wealth. I'm very much for mining and doing a logging in. We need to develop those things and as long as it's safe. We need to make sure that our communities are always going to be safe with the water and our environment. That's a big concern with me. We need to provide jobs. One of the things that I was very happy to see in the paper is that now we're getting a little bit closer on building that bridge in Detroit. It just shows that the demographics between Lower Michigan and up here. We have natural resources that they need to build that bridge. And the person that I'm going to be running against voted against building that bridge. I have family and friends that have gone to North Dakota to work. I'd rather see them stay in Michigan and do that project like build the bridge. We've got the iron ore in Marquette County, and we've got a lot of copper here. And those are the things that are going to provide jobs and make Michigan more economically sound. Local control of government is something that's important to me also. I served 20 years ago on the village of Calumet. Local control is what needs to be done, whether it's your school district or your township or your county. You have to have local people understand what your needs are. And to be able to take a situation now and be able to put an emergency manager in the school of Hancock if that came to, or Keevan County in a township, it's just not a good thing. It's, it's just, we're losing our freedom in Michigan, and I want to see that stop. We have to have local control of government, and we've got to build our infrastructure. We need to fund the roads, the schools, and take care of our people. That's my basic things that I stand for and I stand for representing this district. That is the most key point that I want to be able to represent you in Lansing. I want to be able to vote for these counties in this district. 